and welcome. I'm Ross from Intelligent Tinkering and this is going to be my entry to Robert Murray Smith's challenge or competition. So I've built a uh, wind generator with an old uh, fan motor. I've made my own blades. I've made my own bridge rectifier. I've then took it down onto a board which I'll show you in a minute. And on that board I will go through all the components. So hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. So a little bit of a, a close up of this itself. Um, the power goes into the capacitors, it stores it. It then goes into the LED that lights when there's power. Then there goes into the little resistor, into the controller. The controller then charges this. Once there's no power and the controller senses that, it then switches over the power to this to light this LED. So there's always an LED lit in the circuit. I will bring over the diagram now to give you a closer look of how this circuit works if you're interested. And here's the diagram. So the diagram is the wind generation going into the three phase bridge rectifier, positive, negative, into the capacitors, then into the uh, 300 ohm and LED diode, and then another 300 ohm into the controller that then charges when there's power being generated, this 1.2 volt battery. And then once there's no power generated, the power from that battery will go to this LED here. And like that, so that's the diagram. Cool. So this is just to give you a close up quickly so you can see the components all in one, nice and easy. But once they're all like in their individual places, you're not gonna be able to see most of this. So I thought I'd just give you, this is how it works close up. So at the minute, we are nothing in there really. And the battery, not even a volt in there. So it's completely dead, okay? So I will give it a bit of juice and you can see it on here. There we go. If you can see that, we've got the LED that's lit down here. I don't know if you can see that LED. Yeah, there you go. So there we go, on a slow speed we've got 24 volts, 20 volts, 18 volts, and it's stabilising. There we go, about 18 volts. So it's going through the bridge rectifier into here, lighting up this LED. When the power stops generating and there's nothing else, and it completely goes dormant, this then will drain, and when it drains, that LED will light up. And there you go, you can see it's lit up there. So I'll always have an LED lit. This is the fan, this is the fan. Um, I've kept this because this, this actually worked really well. So what I've done is, I've stuck it to this pole, I've put a, uh, a tapping screw in there, quite a big one. I've then put a nut that fits snugly in here. That's it's solid. Uh, the fan is a three phase fan, like we said, and then here is the controller so I've already run the wire I'm going to install the bridge rectifier now and I'll show you that there you go so I've got the the, the uh, waterproof box open and I'm going to install this I've already made one of these on my channel so go check it out intelligent tinkering and that will show you how I made this bridge rectifier simple very simple so I'm just going to stick this in and there we go, it's all installed. So, outcoming supply, your incoming supply into the bridge rectifier. So this is changing the three, day, three phase, sorry, into single phase. DC going down, so that stays in there. Nothing's touching. Like I said, if you wanna watch that, that's on my channel. It goes in like that. All right, I'll stick the blade on and we'll get it up. This is the fan I had. I basically chopped off here and got rid of that. Same with this one, same with this one. Got some drain pipe, cut my own fan blades and stuck them in. So I'll take you that now. And there we go. That's my fan blade. It's pretty big, so it doesn't really fit in here. So now that, I'm going to bolt on. And there we go, spinning happily in the wind. Free energy. So the volts are coming in here. The voltage of the battery is here. That's the charging voltage. There's the LED 
lighting up really nicely. And as you can see, if I short it, the other LED should take over with the battery power that it's got stored. And if I take it away and the wind generation happens again, that's where that charge that then lights back up. Absolutely awesome. I'll always have an LED lit. If the generation's happening, it charges. If the generation stops, the battery takes over. Awesome. And it's not even a windy day. Look at that, eh? And the battery's being charged nicely. Hello. It's been an absolute pleasure. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's not even been a windy day today, but it was enough to actually charge the battery, run the LEDs. And yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it from every aspect. But I hope you, you guys enjoyed it. And big thank you to Rob for, for doing this competition. And yeah, thank you for letting me participate. So I thought I'd bring this into this last video. And as you can see, the LED shining away with the power we generated that's been stored in that battery. So big thank you. Please like, subscribe and comment on my channel. And yeah, I'll see you around. Over and out from Intelligent Tinkering. Thank you.